Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a really cool SBC today. I'm going to be honest with you, it's a very, very cool one. We have one for Miura, but we also have one for Nakamura. So the reason why this SBC is so cool is because in this SBC, excuse me, you can actually get a triple link setup with these two and use them in any type of squad that gets good links anywhere else, which is such a fantastic concept. So one, they're getting it for a good promotional value because they know that Danny Aaron is going to do this video immediately, right? But the second thing is that they should do more of these SBCs because it's actually very, very cool. So for this video, we're going to be doing Miura. The next one, we're also going to be doing a Nakamura. So with Miura, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'10", high, low work rates, right-footed, three-star skills with a four-star weak foot. So yes, he has a three-star skill, but to be honest with you guys, when I play the Kareem Benzema up top in the striker position, I don't really use the skill moves that often. In some cases you do, but not too much. Uh, In-game player traits, he has leadership trait, team player trait, in-game attributes. Um, This card is... I guess you would give him like a hawk maybe, right? A hawk or a hunter? Because on a Hawk, right, so let, let's just take a look at the stats, right? So on a Hawk, you get the shot power boost, you get the long shot boost, his shooting becomes really good with 99 attacking positioning. And to be honest, 90 acceleration, 93 sprint speed is pretty good with some extra strength as well, which is very cool, because he's a player that is 5'10 with an average body type. So the average body type I do think is something that you're just going to have to work with in general. Like you could totally give him a finisher chemistry style and work with his base card stats for pace, but it could annoy you from time to time, depending on your play style, right? So we do have to test them out with that average body type first. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to give him a Hawk chemistry style. Hawk chemistry style is this one right here. Perfect. Okay, so on a Hawk chemistry style, we're taking a look at a card. One second. Taking a look at a card who is 5'10", high, low work rates, right footed, three star, four star, perfect player traits. Uh, okay, so he's going to have 90 acceleration, 93 for sprint speed, which is pretty good. Shooting stats will be improved by a lot, right? We're going to be boosting it to the 90s area with 83 for long shots. Again, traits doesn't really um, doesn't really have like crazy traits. Uh, let's see here. So Hawk chemistry style. Base card stats for passing is actually pretty solid on the card. I don't mind that. He has 90 vision as well with 94 curve, which is actually pretty sick. Uh, dribbling, I do expect to notice in game. For sure, especially for someone who's five foot ten with an average body type for base characteristics as well. But the thing is that they've actually increased his dribbling stats a lot from the bronze card. His composure, reactions and stuff is in a pretty decent area. Stamina is going to be at an 84, which is acceptable in the striker position for sure. And then he's also going to have 76 for strength. So some pretty decent stuff there. Nothing terrible by any means. Uh, we are going to be using the 442 formation because it's very good for the reviews, uh, we're going to be doing it like this. So we're going to do uh, this over here, Nakamura up top, switch him here. The rest of the team is as it is. Perfect. This is going to be on 41, 55, pressure on heavy touch. I don't use this anymore. If you guys want to check out a new um, tactic, I uploaded the 4231 video, which should help out a lot of people. 70. But this formation is really good for uh, reviews to test out certain cards see how they kind of move across the pitch uh that tactic is not it it was uh this was on 55 this was on yeah and then that was forward runs forward runs to test out the attacking ai instructions yeah boom 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 gotta get that boom 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 stay back stay central come back stay central come back perfect okay let's try them out Yeah, so with Mira, oh. Oh, I actually made that work. With Mira's dribbling, you do have to work with his dribbling um, a little bit more for sure. So you do notice that run there of Mira. He actually made it. Oh, he did get that last second touch there. Oh, hello. Pass it downwards. Ah. Uh, he did stop there. If I actually timed that run correctly, it would have been fine. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, if, the, if the pass is better there with Sun. Yep, 
Yeah, with Miura, you have to work with his dribbling a little bit more. With Nakamura, not so much because of the lean body type. Okay, guys, so for this game, we're actually going to be giving him uh, a finisher chemistry style. Because I don't really want to run with him that often. I want his dribbling to feel a little bit better. Um, so I just want to see how that works out. If it doesn't really get fixed, then it's just a thing where you just give him the pace boost anyways, right? So. Oh, no, white. No. Get it back. Second man press. Oh. Oh, let's go. What a lob pass and what a header. Miura, my boy. Oh, I try to get a shot cancel there, but it's like a little bit weird to work with his dribbling. It's very different, you know? Ah, oh, see, I try to get that first time touch there with Miura, but under pressure just kind of kicks it away there. Oh, it was on a green too, man. I didn't even know where the ball went. <laughs> oh, I just needed that small little touch after that skill move. Oh, on a white. No, maybe on a green it's a goal. I don't know. Let's go, Mira. Oh, there we go. It's way better to use him on a finisher, guys, because of the extra dribbling boost, honestly. It's not the type of card that I want to run with that often anyways. On a green. Aww. Oh, not, not a great one on the weak foot. <laughs> See how much better it is on the finisher? It, it's, it's better to work with his body type and stuff, for sure. Uh, almost, almost. Even does like the little skip uh, touches too. I'm telling you guys, bro, this Nakamura card is actually pretty solid to use. He's not bad, bro. Mira? At least he's positioned well for that shot. <laughs> That's how we're using him on the finisher right now. Yeah, I tried him on a finisher right there uh, with the body. See how that works out. Not crazy. On a white. Okay, on a white. The last thing I want to try him out on is an engine chemistry style because you give him a little bit of a pace boost, dribbling boost, and a passing boost. That would be the last one I want to try out because his shooting still looks okay because he has 96 attacking positioning, right? So I kind of want to work with that a little bit more. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's uh, you, de you definitely have to work with that for sure. Oh, if I was able to make that pass right there. He still sways a little bit too, even with the engine, eh? Get that? Oh, I imagine. Would've been nice, man. Oh! That's a shot cancel. Chip it! Ah, uh, it's the animations, man. He has that sway to him that makes him like a little bit slower to do that stuff. Because once the goalie pushes out, guys, you gotta chip it, bro. Because the animation of him pushing back is different. Oh, we got it. Got on the green. No, we had the crossbar. Come on. No. Oh, uh, if he doesn't block me, I think that might have been a nice shot, bro. Let's go, Mira. Oh, uh, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that. No. Touch, shoot. See, even his first time touch with the left stick, like it's a dragged one, you know? And a white. No, what is that touch? I even red timed it because I didn't expect that. Oh my goodness.
Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Miura cards. In regards to how he performs in game, guys, we tried him out initially on the Hawk chemistry style because of the shooting boost, the pace boost, as well as the physical boost while working with his dribbling stats as it is. Now, you will notice the body type working with the dribbling stats with the 5'10 height at an average body type, 100%. Here's the thing, though, man. You notice his high-low work rates, but he's not as explosive at doing it because of his body type, because of the height that he has with the dribbling stats, right? And there was occasions where I was trying him out on the engine chemistry style, right, to boost the balance as much as possible, the agility, the dribbling. Um, I tried to give him uh, the finisher chemistry style so that we boost dribbling by a lot while also boosting the, the shooting, which... For me, I think it's actually the best choice with this card because yes, he has the high-low work rates, guys, but he's not as explosive, right? So your build-up with a card like this, I feel like personally, has to be a little bit slower, right? You want to pass and go as much as possible. His left stick touches are not that crazy. Even from the first time touches from the driven passes, sometimes it can be a little bit weird, but again, you could still work with it, of course. But for me... I feel like the finisher chemistry style definitely makes the most sense for him because it's not going to be the type of card that I'm going to run that often with. Now, if the left stick dribbling, right, doesn't bother you as much and you want to work with this high low a little bit more, a hunter chemistry style could be super ideal as well because of the extra pace boost that you're giving him, right, to work with that high low work rate. But for me personally, it's just not that type of card that I would want to use in that way on a consistent basis, right? So it would either be a combination of either giving him the Hawk or the finisher chemistry style. Because like I said, guys, from a base characteristic, you do notice the way that he dribbles on the pitch, especially if the gameplay is rough, right? So uh, definitely one of those uh, concept SBCs. If you guys haven't checked out the review for Nakamura, be sure to do so because that Nakamura card was... Uh, he surprised me, man. He definitely surprised me for what he is. Mira, it, it's more of a concept SBC that they release. So that Danny can make a nice little YouTube video for. But hey, nice little link up to Nakamura. Have fun, Danny. He's uh you can make him work, brother. You could definitely make him work. On a finisher, I like him mostly on a finisher to get those angles to kind of shoot with him, uh, to improve his dribbling a little bit more, make him a little bit more usable in game with the composure and reactions being as it is. Uh, but yeah, he's a he's a he's a little bit more tricky to work with, man. Nakamura is definitely that type of guy that'll do work for you, I think. But uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.